Okay, so here we go again. Next trip, and this time it's a ski trip. Yay! What we don't want is any incidents like last time, like going down small roads and tracks and getting stuck. So we're using a sat nav, proper sat nav this time. We've got to go and sort out one thing first, haven't we? Got to go and get snow chains. This is the important bit. It's asking me for the length of the vehicle, the width and the height. Uh, I've already set those in. Okay, so hopefully we're not going to go down any dodgy roads. <laughs> yeah, right, we'll see. We're going on a holiday! Woo oh god, your fingers will have frozen off by now, babe. Hey, yeah, there's not as much slack, is there? Oh, yeah, I didn't realise it. Yeah, no, I see it. That's another great job done. Snow chains bought. And now we're heading off to get the gas, which we have rung up beforehand to because make sure they've got some. Because there's no gas anywhere else in the UK. There's a massive shortage, but they have lots apparently. So we're just going to get some gas. Phew! Gas finally done. Uh, not really a few though, because we're actually late for the tour now. We were meant to have been on the tunnel an hour before. We were meant to get there an hour before. And uh It's an hour before now. Yeah, and we've still got 20 minutes to get to said tunnel. We're on the original time and we're just about to go through passport control. Vive la France, baby! Woo! Bloody miracle. <laughs> It wasn't meant to be out of a jar, but we forgot certain ingredients, haven't we? So it's a jar. Not very exciting for a first night away, but hey, the gin's out, so all is absolutely fine. <laughs> it's been a lot of driving, babe, but you have done amazing. Big thumbs up to you. Yeah, we've been on, on the go for about eight hours. We have. Getting snow chains, getting gas, getting to France. <laughs> <laughs> There's been a lot, hasn't it? snowing last night. Oh, well, I'm off to get uh, croissants and bread. I think it's this way somewhere. Oh, that was very close. Baguette, croissants and uh, something nice for later. Good morning! Morning! Well, the sun is shining and it's snowing. Yeah, it's a, re it's a really, really good park up here. Free. 30 minutes from the channel tunnel, we'll write down what it's called. But it's been lovely, wasn't it? Yeah. Super quiet. Yeah. We nice. were the only people here. A quick Mitch walk Graham. because we've got a mammoth well, drive. 500 miles to drive today. Oh, how lovely is Oh, it's such a lovely walk and it's literally there's Katie and there is the walk so it's perfect if you've got dogs for a dog walk as well genius let's get on that road having just left our stopover for the night and we've got 494 miles to do today no 
That's a pretty long way. Make some good progress now. Because I'm at the helm, that's why. <laughs> Little update, we've done 394 miles so far. I have driven twice now, it's been like a party bus. Thank you Andy Glaw once more for your excellent recommendations for where to stay. That's the word. <laughs> Well, there she is. Been in the motorhome from 10 <laughs> until 6, so we need a bit of exercise, even if it is like this. <laughs> so, 50 minutes, I think we leave it on because we're going to use the Ramoska because we don't have an oven in our motorhome. Brilliant little gadget. There's our oven because we've got no hookup. We've got to use the power bank today. What's it drawing? So the Ramoska is drawing 398 watts, which is well within, so happy days. Second day on the trot, babe. I think we did well on the driving well, today. It's first of 19, really, isn't it? <laughs> 19 days, 19 days. Are you with your beer in a wine glass? I haven't brought a, a beer glass, so. That is so funny. Oh what? my god, you're such a lady. It's, it's so French. And it's a rubbish wine glass, so it's not even the proper one. It's That's a really cheap, nasty one. Cheers. Cheers. Uh. Oh. Morning. Exciting day today. We finally get there. But for now, it's time to go and get more bread and more croissants. There it is. Boulangerie patisserie. Done. Well, there's the man. He's just been around to collect six euros. Bargain for the night. Yeah, very quiet, very flat. It's got grey waste, water. Don't think there's a, anywhere to empty a toilet set though. Didn't see that. No, and top tip, don't go in the pitch we're in or the one next to us if you can help it because obviously the goalie post is right opposite us. Yeah, apparently the team are not that good <laughs> is what it <laughs> oh says on gosh. the internet. <laughs> Day three of our holiday and guess what? We've hit a problem. Kate is not going anywhere. We've tried to turn the engine over and it's basically a cab. It looks like a flat battery, but the control panel in the middle of the motor is showing that the battery's fine. So it's a bit confusing. We, so we've, we've called breakdown. They're coming in 90 minutes, but just prior to that, we actually put a little thing out on our Facebook page and thank you to everybody. They've uh, shown us where to locate the battery and we have now checked, make sure there is no corrosion make sure all the wires are tight and it all seems good um thank you for letting us know where the battery was we looked under the bonnet i was like no yeah. battery absolutely no idea we've got our jump leads but there is literally nobody around here it's so so quiet <gasps> typical <laughs> to um to turn us away but i can't see it being that bad hello Everything crossed. It's going to be good. 11.30, 12 o'clock. What's time now? Half ten. Okay. So it's not 90 minutes, no. it's uh, two and a half hours. That's all right. We'll, we'll be good. It's all right. We've just got to have everything crossed now that um, we can get the issue sorted. I'll give it another try. No, nothing. It did actually turn over just slightly there before I tried it again the second time. And that's a solar charging the battery. So it goes dead and then it starts to improve a bit. So maybe the battery has, has drained out. Okay, so the recovery vehicle has now arrived and we've got a chap having a look. Let's hope we get sorted. He's got it working. <laughs> Happy days. It's just a jump start. Fantastic. He doesn't speak any English, unfortunately. So Andy's is using his uh, English to French translation on his phone. It's taken a while. I'm just so happy it's working. 
Well, thank goodness for that. It was just a simple battery problem. The thing that really confused us though was the control panel on the motorhome shows you the battery levels and it was showing full for the engine battery as well as the uh, habitation battery. We didn't leave anything on last night. We didn't leave the uh, media system on, no lights, nothing at all. So we can only think that it's just the cold weather, which is <laughs> a bit okay. concerning really because it was only minus one last night and we're off, heading off to the mountains now where it's going to be down to minus 10 or 12. <laughs> so quite possibly we're going to have the same problem again but so long as we... Uh, I'm going to try and order a boost from Amazon to be delivered to the campsite. Big bus, big bus, big bus. Whoa! Oh, you've got to reverse that, babe. Reverse back a bit. No, reverse, reverse. Careful, careful, don't go off the edge. Stay in the middle of the road or something. Christ almighty, Barney. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Gordon Bennett. <laughs> <laughs> First time on snow for these uh, new all-terrain tyres. Maybe I've got to get a bit of a run off just in case. Easy. <laughs> nice one. They've got their snow chains on. Well, finally, we can start to enjoy ourselves now, I think. Yay! All set up. <laughs> uh, time to go for a quick walk and hopefully a beer afterwards. Yes. I actually have blue skies over that side. There's a little bit of honest as well, isn't there? It's a lovely little site, really nice isn't it? Back in the trees, pretty. Yeah. Looking forward to our walk. Nothing uh, extreme. No, nothing extreme. No. No. <laughs> no. Two minutes from the site, and we're straight on to all the great walks. Well, the peace bas basherman has just told us, no, <laughs> you cannot come this way. I guess it's because it's a ski run. You're not normally allowed to walk on the ski runs. So he says we can go this way. It says private though. It says danger. Yeah, that's, that's not a good start, is it really? Oh look, the sign's actually uh, blocked off. We've been here two minutes and we're already facing danger. Hold on. <laughs> Nearly. Well, we didn't expect to see this much, see this much snow, did we? No. Maybe on the mountain tops, but not down at our levels. No. That's Katie. It's quite a big site, actually. We've counted about 58 pictures, haven't we? Don't know what this is. Oh, it's table tennis. Alpine version. 
Cheers, isn't it? Yeah, it's lovely. Some nice red wine. And a piece map to study as well. Perfect. Happy skiing. Ten minutes to get our skis fitted. Michelle's had new boots. And know where the locker room is. Yeah, so efficient. Mm -hmm.